section. We're gonna fill up on gas before we leave Kentucky and uh, get some air in my tires and we'll hit the road, Jack. Here yesterday, seven hour drive back. Picked up my brother, drove seven hours back here, and we're here right at eight when they're opening. And we're waiting for our turn to go inside the building because the whole COVID thing, they're only allowing one person at a time. So we're just waiting for them and uh, we'll load the car up. So. Oh, sweet. My brother already came and put the straps out so we don't set the tires on them. I think I'm going to drive it up on here just to make sure it does run and drive. Ah, oh, fuck. Nice. One of those bad boys is going to be bringing me my car or truck. You need that paper? Okay, so just drive it here? Yep. All right, bet. Thank you. All right. So let's go take a look. That's the truck. Oh, man. Oh, man, I can tell from here it took a way better lick than it looked like in the pictures. Shit on me. Ah. Uh. Looks really nice. <laughs> looks really clean, but man, it really does look like it took a better lick than what I thought it did. What's the RST? No smoking or vaping. Shit. Okay, so that's the damage it took. I'm gonna get under here real quick. Take you guys with me. Let's see what we got going on. It does not look like it touched that. That uh, this looks to be perfectly straight and in line, which is perfect. Still up. Wow. Okay. It might be what we thought, which is just replacing the bed. Let's take a look at the interior. I don't know what that RST means. It's nice, all leather interior. Illinois registration. Okay. Got a little ice scraper. Okay. Little gift. I don't know how to pop those up, so I'm not going to mess with it right now. Oh, here it is. I think you do like that and then lift up. Yep. So it's that little handle right there. Nice. A little storage area. Do I got to pull the handle? I do. Pull the handle to release it as well. 
Nice. Alright, now she should start up. I don't think those are for me. No. Okay. I don't like that no vaping or smoking sticker. That makes me think this was a rental. There's nothing wrong with a rental, especially one with only 23,000 miles, but people drive them like they're not their car. And the battery is dead. So I think I'm gonna have to go ask for a jump box. More registration. Okay. Holy stromboli. $38,760 was the sticker on this truck. Two wheel drive LT short box. I didn't know that. Let's see what they paid extra for. The engine. RST Luxury Special Edition. Convenience Package. It's a $40,000 truck. We got it for $14. 285 all right i need to go get a jump box i'll be back okay so we're back at my house or my parents house and um I started to walk around and I noticed that tires touching that fender there is not supposed to be. Um, it kind of looks like it's bent. Like, not bent, but like the, has some control arm damage or maybe the axle itself. Come here, Nico. Sorry, I got my dog with me. And, uh, but really, let me unstrap you real quick. What the heck? Okay, there. Okay. If we take a look under here. Everything is good here. Nothing is out of place. Other other than this. I think it's a, called a leaf. It's supposed to be spaced like this, but it's not supposed to be out to the side like this. So, trace it back over here. It's perfectly centered back here. So I'm not sure what that is, or if I just knock it back over, maybe with a mallet or something, I don't know. But uh, the axle is all good. The axle is all good and so is the control arm everything that you can't tell by the camera but you might be able to see through like the cracks here but these wheels are perfectly aligned what it actually is is this giant gap in the bed where um when it took this lick here it pulled it consequently pushing it <laughs> so we're gonna have a little repair here Um, but other than that, I'm hoping that it's just the uh, eight bolts, but we'll see more when we take the, take the actual bed off. I've been putting it on the charger and I've also went ahead and decided that the inner part of the Chevrolet is getting painted blue. And that I found out that this uh, grill is actually for the RST model, which is this model right here. 
It's a slightly sportier model. Um, but let's grab the keys to the truck. They're in my car. One sec. Sorry, I gotta spin around. What the? Good thing I got the keys with me. Back up, Nico. You're not getting in here. Here they are. Cool. And let's see if it'll start off the remote start. How does he have me so wrapped up right now? Okay. Nico, stay there. Nope. Don't you think about it, young man. Put the key in. And start her right up. Super nice infotainment system. My apps. Doesn't really have any apps. Cool. I love it, that's super. And it's got buttons, let's go. What is this, that's the radio. Nico, what are you whining about? I'm trying to figure this out. I guess it has a subscription soon to something. The interior is so nice in it. I love these seats. I'm gonna have to run a lighter by that. A little fuzz there. Super clean. Super clean. But yeah, the inner part of this Chevrolet is going to get painted blue along with the calipers and the like one inch lift kit that's going to come with it, one and a half. I'm not sure. I don't want it too, too crazy. I'm trying to see if this wheel looks like it's out of place. I don't reckon it does. We'll have to figure out more when we take the bed off, but till then.